everyone, today in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Roborock QRevo Pro map settings within the Roborock app, which is available for iOS and Android devices. If you're interested in this vacuum or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Let's go ahead, let's jump right in and start looking at the map settings. So you'll be greeted at this screen when you enter into your vacuum. Your map will look different because you're not mapping my house, but you'll be seeing a map of your house right here. And the first thing we can look at for the map settings is the map icon towards the center right hand side of your screen. It's got the little pencil and map right there. This is gonna allow us to enter into our map to edit it. And we can also toggle over to the map details tab. So let's start with the edit map options. First up it's map one. We have this little map plus icon on the right hand side. We can select that if we want to make a new map. So once we have that selected, we have two different options. We can clean and map or just do a quick mapping run first. I recommend just doing a quick mapping run first because you might want to populate your map with some no-go zones or things like that before you actually conduct a clean. But you can do both of those right there from within the app. There's a backup, restore, and delete option. We also have our no-go zones. So we can walk through that right here. We can add invisible walls. It's as simple as drag and drop and resize as needed. And then we can set no-go zones for the robot to not go in any of those areas. And you can add multiple zones and virtual walls. Next, we have our edit room option here. So we can combine, divide, and rename rooms in our house. Currently, our map is just one big room right here. So we could select divide, choose a room. And in this case, let's go ahead and reposition this and we'll make a new room right here. That'll be good enough. Hit the check mark, and now it's gonna update our map, and now we have two rooms. So you get the idea, you can continue to build this out. If you have too many rooms, you can merge them together, and if you want to rename your rooms, you can do that right here. So pick and choose from a nice list of room names. Next, we can edit furniture. Yes, you heard me right. So we can add things like a bed, TV stand. Again, drag, drop, reposition as needed. You can populate your whole house here with furniture to help your vacuum have a better understanding of everything in the layout right there. Even a pet bed, I love that. So we could add our pet bed if we wanted to on the map, right where the pet bed actually is. So pretty cool, pick and choose your furniture right there. And we can also edit different surface types. So depending on the floor type, we can pick and choose those right here, tile, floor horizontal, floor vertical, or default. So edit those as needed. Then we have carpet. So tap on a carpet to edit, and we could add carpet. And we can add an entrapping threshold. So smart moves over doorways and steps. The robot moves through door thresholds and steps without cleaning. So if we set those up right here, we have both those options to add a threshold or steps or custom you can do that right there within the app and you can learn more about it if you want to hit that question mark to bring that dialog box back up now moving along to the next tab our map details tab we have 2d and 3d views which is cool and then you'll see we have some of the settings we already looked at room name floor type furniture and obstacle so we're going to select obstacle and that'll basically just allow it to display any sort of obstacles on the map or not so that's going to be the difference there versus the other ones where again, toggle them on or off as you see fit. So what do you want displayed on the map and when you have full control over that right here. Next, another way to get to our map settings is in the top right hand corner. We can select those three dots and we can go down here to the manage maps option where we can toggle on or off map saving. We can choose our home layout, single or multi-level. How do you want it to process the different environments, smart recognition or manual selection? You can configure that right there. And then we have our maps here, and then we can create our new map right there, and you can edit or restore each individual map. And another cool feature with this vacuum and mapping is the pin and go functionality. So basically we can set a pin on the map and it will go to that spot. So where do you want it to go? Boom, have it drive over there. You could also conduct a spot clean. Just something that's neat, a little extra 
with the advanced mapping abilities on this particular vacuum. And then back at the main screen here, couple of tabs at the bottom we can look at. So your RoboVac can typically do a full clean, but this vacuum's smart enough to use your map to do a room by room clean. So you can pick and choose which rooms you want it to clean. And we can do zone cleaning. So drag and drop on here. And we can add multiple zones for the vacuum to clean. And you'll notice within each zone, it has the cleaning settings there. So we can choose for that particular zone what we want in regards to vacuum or mopping, suction power, water flow, cleaning count, route, all of that stuff can be accomplished right there too with our QRevo Pro Map. So it's a really advanced robot vacuum and mop that gives us great features and functionality within the RoboRock app. Hopefully this was helpful to you to bring some clarity in regards to either using your new robot vacuum or if you're in the process of considering this particular vacuum. That's a quick look at the map settings within the RoboRock app for our RoboRock QRevo Pro. Thanks for watching.